Carlo and Barbara Lee, the district attorney's office dropped the two rape charges initially filed against Corey Hogue. Instead, he's been charged with two misdemeanor counts of molesting or annoying a child. That's in addition to three felony charges. Now, he pled not guilty to all of those charges in court today. Prosecutors, meantime, tonight are calling him a predator disguised as a teacher. Health issues. Just one can ruin your entire life. Oceanside High School PE teacher Corey Hogue says he's not guilty after being formally charged with having a sexual relationship with a student for two years. These allegations have been brought by one 17-year-old teenager against an extremely well-respected teacher. The 37-year-old married father of three allegedly began having sex with the student when she was 15. The now 17-year-old told police the encounters happened at Hogue's house. The boys' varsity basketball coach was arrested last week as he made his way to the victim's house. And the defendant did try and dissuade the victim in this case from telling the truth. Um, told the victim in a pretextual phone call that was reported that she's got to lie. Hogue is charged with three counts of lewd and lascivious acts and two misdemeanor counts of annoying or molesting a child. And prosecutors believe now, more victims um, are out there. We are looking into a, another victim from 2005 when the defendant was a teacher at another high school. In an effort to reduce bail, Hogue's attorney, Paul Wallen, argued his client has been a dedicated educator for 13 years, is active in his church, and has no criminal record. This court does find that the defendant is a danger to the community. I'm going to lower bail to 100000 A criminal protection order was also issued by the judge, which prohibits Hogue from having any contact with the student. And while the district attorney's office maintains Hogue is dangerous, his attorney says the evidence will prove his client is innocent. Now, all we ask is everyone reserve judgment, take a deep breath, and there'll be a tremendous amount of information coming out. Now, Hope will be back in court on January 4th, and he did have a small army of support inside the courtroom today, including his wife, Tammy. She did not want to talk to us today on camera, but did tell us, quote, I 100% support Corey. Carlo and Barbali. A lot going in, on in court there, Adrian. I spoke to some parents from Oceanside High School over the weekend, and they hadn't even heard about this. Do we know if the district reached out to notify parents that one of the teachers had been arrested? We did reach out and try to contact officials with Oceanside High School, but of course, given the Thanksgiving holiday, many of those administrators are not working inside the building right now. We also did try to talk to Mr. Hoag's attorney about that. He said as far as he knows, no letter has been given out to any parents. All right, Adrian, thank you.